Hello everyone, this is Father the Ever Chosen, bringing you our new Ar Ardenaeum campaign. We're going to be doing a very hard, very hard campaign, a long campaign, and for this campaign, we're going to actually side with Dol Amroth and Gondor and the forces of good. Um, in this playthrough, I'm more thinking it that our Gimelcad has seen the error of the other dark Numenorians' ways and has decided to try and get back at Sauron by helping out Gondor and Dol Amroth and trying to get back uh, within their graces so that we can have the Numenorians all back together. So for this playthrough, I will be starting in the south and going through Harad, taking out Harad, and hopefully Kand will stay bad. Um, if they go good, it'll be a little more tricky, but the goal is to push all the way through Harad, up and behind Mordor, and then up into Rune, and hitting more like Nern and Saragost for, for Mordor in the back. And hopefully that will take the pressure off uh, Gondor, and then we're going to leave enough space where Dol Amroth can still be involved for a while, and hopefully they can get up along um, in Athelion, in southern Athelion, uh, so that they can bring some of their forces to bear against Mordor as well. Not that they wouldn't walk through Gondor's lands, but to have recruitment centers right there on the front would be nice. Um, if Can decides to go good, we will address that at that point in time. So we're going to jump in here, and if you've played the RR Denium before, you know that the first time starting up, uh, it's a little slow. You've got to get all your ancillaries for all your your spy, your diplomat, your three generals, and also it generates your horde army for you. So it'll take just a minute. So I don't want to start in Umbar. That is that is one thing I do not want to do. Um, so I'm going to go jump on uh, Admiral Sacklethor's uh, little fleet and take my army up to Golbel Tophilas and we're going to take um, that to start. Or, um, I think that's Golbel Tophilas. No, Golbel Mirlon. Tophilas is the island. Gobel Mirland is what we're going to take. Um, so, this is what we're going... We're not going to actually read this, because this is what Divide and Conquer, the team over there, has decided for uh, the RR Denium. And that is that uh, the Num Numenorians of the South have decided to come back and just wash over the lands. They are mad at um, Mordor, obviously, and Sauron for betraying them, but they're also mad at their fellow Numenorians for uh, leaving them and making it here in, in the nicer part of uh, Middle-earth, because to the south, Harad, near Harad and far Harad, are just nothing but uh, desert wastes. Uh, not a very comfortable place to live. This is just talking about the barracks event, and then we have all the retinue expanding, um, which just isn't important to look at right now. But yes, our Gimelcad comes with the Neru and Eru Royal Guard. They are a fantastic spear and shield unit. Gimelzor comes with Arjunayam Armsmen, um, which are just a really good, um, solid infantry unit, yes, my lord. and Gimelthon comes with Beruthiel's Watch, which are a uh, crossbow-wielding uh, ranger-esque unit, and they have very high accuracy in 180 meters, which is very good for a crossbow unit. So we're going to toggle Fog of War back again, um, and we're going to combine everybody yes. together. Your order, my lord. Ready. We're going to get Sacklethor right here on the coast, yes, and we're going to just start moving up 
the coast. So as soon as we get here, we we'll lay no siege, further. take Gobel Mirland, and then probably push south and take Keldun. And then that will be our starting regions. We'll try to ally with um, my lord. Dol Amroth as quickly as we can. Yes, my lord. And we're going to, yes. if we can stay allied, or not allied, but if we can stay on good relations with Harad for a little bit, I would like to, uh, just to get the two cities up and running. This first episode will probably be about 20 turns long. So that hopefully will uh, cement our hold in Khaldun and Gobel Mirlon, and then from there we can push out against um, Harad, and then when the time comes, we can then go and take Umbar for ourselves. Whether we let Harad break themselves on the walls for a little bit, uh, and then go in and take it from them, or if we just go in at um, a later time, just so that we can eventually have it, because it is a great city to have, yes, but I don't want to start there, because if you start there, you already have so many bonuses. Um, even Khaldun and um, what is this one called? And Ardemir. Uh, they already have some of your culture, your so it, it makes the campaign a bit lord. easier. Approaching quietly. Alright, tell El Jeff is yes, there, we'll lord. send our diplomat over there. And the spy can keep going. Ships ready. On top of our generals, we also get a unit of Narduterik, Nardubuib, and Narduzagar. These are um, kind of our mid-tier units. The Nardubuib are really good. Uh, Narduterik are really good infantry to hold. Um, and even the Narduzagar are actually probably better at holding than... Um, charging. I mean, they have a good charge bonus and a high attack, but they're not reliable against armor, so that does somewhat hinder them. The good thing for this one looks like we have five units of Rosadan footmen, which are our spear and shield, and we only have three units of the halberdiers, which is fine because we get a lot of our bowmen, and the Rosadan bowmen are actually quite good. Three missiles with 152 members uh, average accuracy is quite good, and we get one, two, My Lord. three, four, five, six of them, which is that's good. It'll be it'll be a nice that's army to right. have. Another reason for taking Gobel Mirlon and Khaldun is that there are three forts between those two regions, and those forts will uh, definitely help us. Uh, keep uh, our uh, upkeep costs down. Gimelthon has uh, betrothed a Glarthiel. Yeah, we'll go with that. Haradrim tribe, so I'll be rewarded with a military unit. That doesn't really help me since I don't have a city. But we have five turns to complete that. So, we will... Probably just yes. park him near Tal Al Jeff. Impossible. There's Fine Abel. We're just gonna kind of mosey around and get some uh, points of interest on the map for uh, Ships ready. for myself. Uh, since we are a horde faction, we are getting money every turn. Um, the king's purse starts at three thousand. And we only have this small army upkeep that does go away once you actually take a city. Um, your money does start to go away quickly. So it is good to focus on getting some economic buildings out so that you can offset the cost of um, the massive army that you have from the start. And the best thing I've found is that... The, th the three advanced units you get, the Narduterik, the Nardubuweb, and the Narduzagar, should always get put into a fort. Um, and if you can prevent them from dying um, in droves, you will be uh, 
way better off mileage. because you're not going to get them for quite some time. But they are expensive, 390, 370, and 380. And then I typically put uh, Baruthiel's watch or um, the Armsman also in a fort. Yes, my lord. So Gobo Maryland has a Black Snake Guard, a Southron Lancer, two Haradrim Spears, two Haradrim Archers, some Southron Pikemen, and Southron Archers. Not terrible, but not fantastic. We shall prevail. We're going to grab two Rams and two Siege Towers, yes. and uh, we'll just start with that. Sacklethor, you can blockade that port Locking just so that you have something to do. Approaching quietly. Another good place that we will Approaching probably end up taking quietly. is Amun Eiffel. It'll uh, kind of lock down this central point, and then um, Harad will have to funnel its troops from Finabel through our lands, protecting Dol Amroth while they really get their foothold here in, uh, what is this, Tir Thorost. And then if I can take Barad Harn, I may, but I may leave that for Dol Amroth as well. So then they can help me against Kand. Um, as, you know, as long as Kand stays bad. So, we're going to keep that uh, Diplomat as close as we can for now. Uh, the problem will be that it would have been better to get 750 gold for, uh, for uh, diplomatic relations with Harad, because the only thing we're going to get out of Gobel Mirland is another ship. And the Balukazga aren't terribly expensive, but they're not exactly cheap either. Tirith Ride will probably also leave for Dol Amroth so that they will then border um, Kand. Approaching yeah, Tirith Holost. I shall continue tomorrow. Oh, I think it will be best my to just rip the bandit off and actually assault Gobel Mirland. I don't know, five turns? Be the only gone. problem would be if he gets involved, then the battle gets a little more dicey. We shall engage. Let's look at what our odds are. See, our odds are so good, they're 6-1, to one, but that's because Gimelcat is just an excellent leader. I almost feel like auto-resolving <laughs> that. But it is the first battle in that may set kind of a bad precedent to start off. Um. Hmm. Unfortunately, I probably am going to uh, panel AM, save game. I probably will just auto-resolve this. Um. Because I, we're going to take so many more losses from the walls than would be necessary. Yeah, 220 versus I probably would have lost a much higher amount if you watched, um, I believe that was my uh, rune campaign, the last video. There was a siege where um, <laughs> the city itself got the golden sword. So we'll look here real quick. Nothing too fancy. 96 Rosadon Bowman. But Gobel Mirland is now ours. Victory. And we will just Our and occupy it. Conquered. Which is yes, the best thing for us to do. Win, We're going to take Lord. our high tier win, units. Put them An in that fort. It's going to save us victory. some money. And... A most noble conquest. The next thing we my will Lord. do is take all of our pikes and Gimelthon and put him we have down here in the south. Lord, so, we're losing money still, which conquered. isn't surprising. But, we should be alright in the long run. Dark Sanctuary, Meeting Hall. And we're going to probably grab... The Mason Hall after that. So those are all queued up, and we'll take Kaldun here 
pretty soon. Ships ready. Cycle Thor just get in there. Set like, sail. Yes, my get this over with. Trade rights, control. map information. You guys give me a payment of two hundred. I see little. You would speak of something more. Here, have some. No, I must decline you something with my <laughs> people in mind. Didn't this time. want my. Here, have a gift of a hundred. Very well. All right. There is many. Making offer something trade more rates. worthy of my time. You asked the Fine. Fine. All right. We got future. a Bell Cosca, as I said we would. As you wish. Tomorrow's journey planned out. Impossible. All right. Okay. He'll go to Tirith Thoros next. We'll. Mm. He might nip over and get some trade with Harad first. So we're not losing a crazy amount of money, but we are losing money. I will only address that gentleman will need to battle. be dealt with. Yes, my lord. And Your those guys will lord. be sent south. And we'll take Khaldun as quickly as we can. Um, so right off the bat, we're just going to Order, pull out... My lord. Your will, my lord. A good number of these Orders. troops. My lord. And send them south to Keldun. There's we'll no reason to keep... I mean, they're already costing us money anyways. So there's no reason to keep them here. If he decides to attack the city, Orders. I would rather have some archers my inside. Lord. Your will, my lord. So we'll my take lord. them as well. Joining forces, my lord. And then we'll siege Keldun. Out. And then, hopefully, we'll be able to get that alliance with Dol Amroth right away. We're not at war with them to start. We're not at war with anybody to start. But now we do border Harad, and that could spell uh, a little bit of trouble for us if they want to come and attack us right away. This is a really good um, objective, because we were already planning on taking Kelgun. Yes, Let's put Gimothon in this army. Maintain the siege and. As you command, we we'll shall actually prevail. pull these guys out as well. Your orders, my lord. Orders. Put Gimelzor down there. Your will, my lord. Orders. And the reason we're putting Gimelzor over there is that. We're going to siege out Keldun in five turns, so that last turn will flood yes, Lord. Uh, the army with some reinforcements, thus making it uh, more protected. And, it, and if they do decide to come out and attack us, then we will have a pretty My Lord. good force to Yes, I shall continue ourselves. tomorrow. Chelkar, I believe it's Chelkar over here. Or maybe it's Amukand. Imled Khanan. Not as familiar with the, the southern portion of the map, but we'll hit Imled Khanan real quick, and then we'll go over towards Tir Thorost. Um, quietly. Taking a look around the lands of the Poros are still My Lord. Rebel. Approaching quietly. And Barad Harn is Impossible, still My Lord. Rebel. Um, if we can take Khaldun and then run forces north, we will. But right now, um, I'm more concerned whether Harad will go to war with us. Because if they do, we will need all the forces we can in the south. Gobel Maryland is a city, so it's going to have um, the best bet on doing just regular production. So we'll probably end up grabbing like, the grain exchange because um, we need we need money more than we need to like funnel troops out at a approaching incre incredibly fast rate. My lord. All right. Head you back in. Quietly, my lord. Without question, and as you wish. We're going to siege that out for a little bit longer. It's a lot of end turn in, in the beginning, especially playing the Horde faction. I really only have one thing to monitor, and that's Gobo Mirlon. Um, but as soon as, as soon as we start picking up regions, the turns will uh, be a bit longer and, and more interesting. 
Oh, he's gonna siege them. That's not exactly what I want. Alright, so he'll be doing that for a turn. The enemy lay siege to our people. Much would have preferred that to happen elsewhere. Um, I think it's mostly Ezra Zaire units, though. So we might be fine. I really, obviously, do not want to lose all of those units. So, if I attack, they'll be coming in from behind. It's really just, uh... Come and get me, you coward, my lord. Really like to know more about this army. Watching from All right. Shadows. So we've got Ezra's Iron Marines, Archers, Archers, Raiders, Warriors, Crossbowmen, Archers. Yeah, that, I mean that's a pretty trash army. Approaching. I don't know if these Tomorrow's four can handle it, out. but I'm gonna probably just have to try with them. Yeah, that's probably what it's going to have to come down to. Ah, Diplomat. So, we'll get we'll get trade with uh, Canned here. Um, we don't plan on going to war with them just yet. And as long as we can have trade with them, I would like to, because it's going to boost what little income we can get. Uh, early doors. They did not attack us good. This is what this is what you need early doors. So this guy, he's got the skilled bureaucrat, which that tax income is good. Personal or public happiness is good. Security is really good. Public happiness is good. So his acumen's not great, but taking him, he's free one, and two, I can then leave him here, and then I can pull Lord out our Gimelcad. And Captain Mirzor, I may want to fight him now that he's out on the field. Two more turns for that. We're gonna yes, quickly mop up you wish to speak of, and you these trade rights. Very well. Approaching their dignitary over there. Stopping here. And we've got one more daughter, I do believe, to be married. Yes. Zimrafel needs to still be married, but everyone else is married. Inzelbeth was the one who just married. Her husband is quite a bit older than her, though. 23 years her senior. Let's uh, grab troops while we can. As soon as the Mason's Hall is done, um, and most of you probably know, do not queue up buildings after the Mason's Hall. Let the Mason's Hall build first, or you don't get the benefits of the cost reduction and the time reduction. So the next thing we'll probably grab will be the conscription camp is probably the best thing to grab um, because we can start getting the South Run Lancers and the pikemen and gives us some income. Yes, it's it looks like it's a huge hit, but it's really only minus 30 due to our law. So law is at 45, so that reduces that to 15 and due to happiness, and what's our happiness at? Uh, there is no happiness. Yeah, there's no happiness. So, it really will only reduce that by 30, taking this to 105%. Um, I recently went back before starting this and watched the Ar Ar Denium, uh faction overview, and that is how um, uh, Galu described it because you can't have a negative modifier. It has to subtract from something already existing. So since happiness doesn't exist, it um, it won't matter. But it you know it it definitely could have mattered if I pull out the garrison and stuff. Then you know since the garrison is. You know, the garrison's 40%. If I didn't have the garrison, and then we dropped that to 15, so 15 and 40 is only, you know, 55. That's in the red, and it would rebel. And turn yet again. 
once we take Kaldun, then we will mop up that uh, rebel army in the field. I just, I feel like I need a few more troops in the field to, um, to take that on. Oh, and they're going to siege me yet again. What shall we find? I, I do still imagine that they would be fine to take that on. Kerandros under attack. Your orders, without question. Yes. Tomorrow's journey planned out. Us. Stopping here. Yes. Gimelzor, you can pop in your Gimelzor. And... My lord. Hmm. Orders. Take another unit of bowmen. Joining forces, my lord. And that should be enough where they may not rise up against us. If they don't rise up against us, then we will be gold. Come and get me, you coward. And turn yet again. And hopefully the rebels don't attack yet again. Nothing has changed since the last time, so I don't know why. Um, and hopefully Keldun just capitulates and... An yep, they did. Glorious victory. So we're going to occupy it. A most and they did not attack conquest. us. So we get that 2,000 gold coins. Like this, my lord. And now yes, I will just probably lord. park my diplomat Without here. Question. Because I'll get another quest, more than likely. Some people may think that's a little cheesy. I do not. So, Dark Sanctuary to start getting up the Kingsmen culture. Kaldun, uh, Kaldun, Umbar, and Ardemir all start with Kingsmen culture. They're the only place to start with it. The Meeting Hall is important. And then... Probably the Mason's Hall. We still have money. Your orders, my lord. Who is the better governor? Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. Uh, doesn't matter, yes, my actually. Lord. I mean, somebody may have a bigger negative. Your and will, we'll take out lord. our orders by your command. And that should offset quite a bit of the cost. And then we can send people back north here in just a moment. But now we need to decide... I think the conscription camp will be the best thing to build. We'll get South Run Lancers, we'll get Pikemen. The Lancers will really help, and I if we can get Lancers out against this battle. army. Uh, cavalry is is the weak point of the, uh, the AA, but once you have it, your roster is rounded out quite nicely. And the South Run Pikemen aren't too bad either. The Rosadon, uh, the footmen and the halberdiers are anti-cavalry, but they're not great anti-cavalry. Um, I played a few uh, AA campaigns and had two units of halberdiers surround a unit of swan knights, and the swan knights butchered both units. Um, and the halberdiers the are not only anti-cav, but they're also armor-piercing, so it is a little Your order, odd when Lord. that type of thing happens. Order. Get you up to yes, there. My lord. Your, will. Your orders, my lord. Let's pull everyone out. Yes, my lord. Can you... You're not going to be able to attack him. So you're Your orders, going to lord. have to reinforce yes, my lord. army. Yes. We shall All right. engage. Captain Mirazor. Gimothon will also be controlled by us. We could do a night attack, but it will take out Captain Balthazir, which is not worth it. It's giving Mirazor quite a good chance. Um, I think this should be fine. We should basically have them surrounded. Our units from the fort will be coming basically from behind them, and then Gimelzor will be coming from our right over here. We are the king's men. So let's get you guys in the front. Start 
we're gonna have these guys hoofing it right from the get-go. Ah, uh, poopy. I wanted to control them. That may not be great. Let's fast forward a bit. You guys are going to go into shootout stance. We are waiting for the orders. And let's actually just get them involved at this point. I think that's going to be the best thing for us. We'll be just to get involved. Just get them stuck in. Nope, run. And then shoot the warriors because they have no armor. And if these guys want to just stand there, I'm more than okay with that. We're going to get the Numenorean war right here. In fighting starts, thus disrupting them a bit. Archers firing. Already 7% of the enemy has been killed, which is great to see. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings to start victory moving. emerge. Sorry about that. It will seem like a minor disruption to you, but uh, I had to go deal with a little bit of uh, my, my children were not sleeping. So, um, just re-familiarizing myself with what was going on. All right, back in it. We've got our reinforcing army getting over here nice and quick. It is depressing me. I really want you guys to be fighting them. All right, Narduteric go against the Marines, Nardubawib. Start firing on the archers. Narduzagar, get in here. Posidon, get in here as well. This should be a pretty easily won fight. Everything over here seems to be going well. We do need to go and send some people to help out over there. These guys will be more than fine. The Neru Neru should be more than a match. Even the Ezra Zaire Raiders will be better than the Ezra Zaire Archers. I really do need to just have you guys chase them down. That should be more than fine. Nope, keep running after them. Nope, don't keep running after them. Get you guys firing in here. Start running. We can increase the speed a bit. 31% of the enemy has died. And only 5% of mine. Okay, so fine on them. Fine on them. They're all fine. This is like your warriors. You guys done yet? 25 left. So we should be alright. As long as we don't lose any of our generals, I will be more than pleased. Losing any of the generals would spell... You shoot the marines, you shoot the marines. Where is... There he is. He's staying mostly out of the fight. He's picking off uh, what men he needs to. Who is engaged? Rosadon Halberdiers and Rosadon Halberdiers. Where is Beruthiel's watch? So as long as Beruthiel's watch is... Uh, in a good position. All right. Perfect place for them, just firing directly into the back of uh, our foe. Get all of your men engaged here, please. All right. You go chase down, start moving that way, and you guys start moving that way. As there's a year warriors. Now nah, we need to switch to the raiders now. Double time. Double time. That should be more than enough. 
nice just direct firing right into their backs. And they're gonna route off here pretty soon. Unfortunately, the Nardubuib took far more losses than I would have liked them to have. Alright. We're gonna continue the battle for just a moment. It's time to press the attack. Should be enough to snag at least a few more kills. Where are the enemies here? Running away, 91. It'd be really great to get 92, but we'll call it there. This is a we clear lost. victory. That's saying 400, but that's not 400. That's 300 and some. <laughs> 309 we lost. Golden Sword goes to Nadu with 255, and then the Royal Guard with 230. Doing quite well. They healed some casualties as well, which is good. So that deals with that rebel army, and um, we'll start making more money because there won't be any. Um, raided territory. I can't remember what it's called in Med 2. Uh, devastation. There's no devastation in our lands. So, crops will start making more money and we won't be using as much. Hmm. We have triumphed! Who's retinue expanded? Argimokad, veteran warrior. All right, your orders, my lord. Can you go yes, back? Yes, your orders, my lord. Actually, my lord. Those guys there. yes, my lord. Gimelthon. And the big thing now is to watch out, because Vinya Metalmar has fallen, and Tal Al Jaff is theirs. So if they want to go to war with me, they will, and that can get messy will, quite quickly. Orders. Your will, my lord. Orders. Park yes. you all in the fort. So, we are slowly offsetting that. Yeah, see, we were losing 462 to devastation. So, um, that will be quite good. And we'll gain quite a bit from this. We'll grab an extra... 16 in trade, 1 in administration, but 300 for building. And then we'll get our lancers and the like. We can retrain them. Our yes, Gimelcad and Gimelthon may head north. I, actually, I'll probably have them head to Hamon Eiffel and take that. I really would prefer to have Gimelzor out there. Uh, if Zimrafel gets a husband here, then yes, I will send, uh, yes. send them orders, out. Lord. But we're at another end turn. But I think Emun Eithel would be the better one to take so that we limit the forces heading against Dol Amroth, and then they can kind of have that, uh, foothold um, just across the Anduin. We'll be rewarded with a military unit. Mm, let's let's wait two more turns to get the conscription camp. Because then it could be it's not guaranteed, but then it could be uh, yes. one of our uh, better units. With honor, this tower will keep vigil oh, yeah. over the land. We'll grab both those Horondor mercs. They're a surprisingly yes. good unit. We can go no further, my lord. This tower. Be gone. Mm, he is not threat. Barret Harden's already fallen, anyways. So yeah, we're gonna need to go in to uh, Emun Eiffel. Approaching quietly. Quickly, they've got Horondor Mercs, Southland Warband, Southland Archers, Heradrim Spearmen, and Heradrim Archers. So we should be able to Your take. Will, my lord. Your orders, my lord. Hmm. 
take the Narduba Wib as well. Assembling a mighty host. And Making camp here. For well, now. That's probably what we will leave it at. We've got two more turns until we can get some more units. My lord. Your will, my lord. Hmm. Actually, let's wish, send them. March to exhaustion, nope, continuing nope, later. Not what I wanted. We can go no further today. And I guess Orders, we can send these my lord. as well. By your command. Alright, we'll end the turn yet again. Gobel Mirland is slowly going to get better as that devastation goes away. It takes a while for the devastation to go away, though. We were losing, what, 460 or 480? So we can check that slowly. And as that goes away, Gobel Mirland's uh, resources will just continue to tick up and up. I'm not too worried about that rebel force. Hopefully it just... Yes, my lord. Uh, yes. Gives Dol Amroth something to chew on for a bit. Our Gimelcad will get to Emil Em and Ifo here my lord. in the next turn. Approaching quietly. And then as soon as we get that, we can I mean we'll really be making money then. Conscription camp will be done next turn. Devastation should be going down. Snatch up those two. The meeting hall is being built after the conscription camp. It will really depend. Let's look. No, we won't be able to see that until next turn. That's part of the reason why I wait. Just to see how much um, things will improve by building certain things. And our money will go down quite quickly. So it's best to build expensive buildings that have high returns than building inexpensive buildings with low returns because it's better to spend the money whilst you have it. And again, I never believe that I am speaking to people that do not know this. So yeah, the road's totally and completely and utterly pointless to build. The shipwright would give us marines. But we really need this to be more the economic. I mean, that 50, that flat 50 from the grain exchange wouldn't be bad. Communal farming. Mm. I think the grain exchange will probably be the best thing for us. So we'll grab that. Let's, uh... Your orders. Talk what with Dole Amroth real discuss? quick. We'll get trade rights. We'll give you map information and an alliance. Alright. Dole Amroth is now our buddy. An honor and a pleasure. Farewell. And we got a unit of Azure Sayu yes. Raiders. Fantastic. Question, I shall continue eh, early tomorrow. doors. <laughs> a unit is a unit. I will get the South Front Lancers and the uh, Pikes right away, though, because we really do need them. Um, to get out there. And as soon as we start going to war, it'll really depend, it, more than likely the way we'll know is Admiral Lacus will, will blockade our port. Yes, my lord. As you come on, and we'll we grab shall those prevail. real quick. It can hold out yes. for four turns. Your will, my lord. By your command. And we'll probably end up Attacking before that, yes. imagining. We are only losing a bit, which is good. So we've got five more turns to make an impact. We've already taken Mirland and Khaldun, though. Um, and even at this early stage, now having the Southron Lancers and having the Pikemen, uh, that will give us such a leg up over Harad that it's not even funny. The, the pikes alone help us so much against the Black Snake Guard. Yes, my lord. What is it you wish you to do? Alliance, trade rates, map information. This seems quite reasonable. Well, that Thank seems you. fruitful. Farewell. We got another unit of Ezra's on your raiders. Man, bloody tastic. Without question. Right. Next, we'll Tomorrow's try to get trade with Mordor. 
if we can. There's no reason not to. Um, but now, see, our, tr our trade is just going up and up and up. I think the next logical thing to build would be a port, though, for Khaldun. And we'll see what that looks like, profit-wise. But I'm imagining it's going to be quite lucrative for us to build one. Yeah, South Pike Pikeman, you're going to go into the Arden Line Fort. Command. Yeah, Mirlon's just going to continue to make more and more money. Um... And as long as we're trading with Harad and Kand, um, if I can get our budget to stabilize before we go to war, I would like that very much. The only problem is, is that as we're doing that, Harad has time to uh, expand its forces. Dol Amroth expands. That's a nice gift. I yes, will not. Uh, yes. Without Look question. down upon it. Lands of the Poros still are open. Herondor is held, though, by Dol Amroth. So they can go to war with the Variags right away, which is actually quite good Lord for us. Own. That way, they're only fighting one enemy, and we're only fighting one enemy. Even once we border each other, um, we still should be relatively okay. This fort, I would like to garrison it, just so that we can get more free upkeep, but I'm getting nervous about the uh, forces surrounding us. So let's look. Port. Trade goes up by a little. Administration goes up by some. We could get marines, which would be nice. But again, I'd rather get things that are really going to increase, like the trade increases there, the administration increases, but it's it's a lot of money. The communal farming actually may be the better route to go. I think the communal farming may be the best route to go with. Warlords Hall is going to give us public order and the like. Yeah, we'll grab communal farming, and then we'll probably have to start focusing on our military, so we'll grab the practice range at that point. The grain exchange will be completed next turn. We do now have okay. our self-run Lancer that we can get out in the field. Um, we're going to keep it close to home, though, for now. Why is there so much devastation right here? Is there an invisible army? Perhaps. My lord. Is the devastation going down here? It is, slowly but surely. My lord. Oh, uh, we're gonna move him over here just to check it out. And when I feel, if I can just yes, have them lord. surrender to us, I will. Just like Khaldun, the less men I lose now, the better I will be prepared to take on uh, Harad. And the good thing about surrounding Harad so bordering them from Khaldun and from Emun Ithil will be that they will split their forces. They will not just send all of them to one spot. Uh, they're not typically intelligent enough to do that. Sometimes they have a stroke of uh, genius. Mordor, 750. Perfect. You I was already heading that way. I shall continue tomorrow. Tomorrow's journey planned out. And that, that uh, diplomat will just stay on the move for as long as I can have him going about. Market, trade goes up a little, building goes up some. I don't think that's worth it. The roads, also probably not worth it. Hmm. Town guard? Maybe. The leather tanner has a straight bonus to us, though, of 40. And it's only going to take two turns. We'll do the Leather Tanner first. And then I think we'll grab the Town Guard. I don't think there's any recruitment we can do currently, which is fine. We'll keep everybody close to home for now. My Lord. Alright, it doesn't look like anybody's here. Devastation... 
is going down, which is good. My lord. We'll move Indrazor over I'm here, and he'll keep. Uh, actually, we'll move him south, and he'll keep an eye there. I shall continue. And when I feel, let's see if it rises up or if it if it just falls to us. Hopefully, I, I would rather show you guys battles against either out in the field or battles against uh, actual nations rather than the rebels. If I. You know, if I have to fight this fight, I will. But if I can show you more interesting battles, I would prefer to do that. Noble one, uh, we have something for you. <sighs> you know what? I'm, I'm gonna do that Our for now. For act of wisdom shall not die. You bring because, words with me. oh, you Very fuckers! Well. <laughs> Absolute twats. 190 is not a lot. If it was more, I'd be much more angry. But they will, they will, they will know, we they will know my uh, my wrath here soon. And of course, Ammonithil decides to rise up. I will probably pause it at this. I don't. Units, await my order. I, I obviously these guys would drop their rams, so I'm not a huge fan of having to do that. Let's get them in the front. Hmm. Okay, these two halberdiers can form this side. This halberdier will be on this side. We'll grab the Horondor Mercs and put them on the flanks. The Ruthiel's watch. I would prefer to have them over here. And then not Brutefield's watch. I just move everybody else to here. I don't want anybody running after the forces. And you guys will go on that side as well. And the Nehru and Eru will just stand right behind the center. We'll go to time six real quick. Ruthiel's. Now are in position. We would like them to focus on the South Run Warband for now. Slow you down yet again. You can fire at the Hondor Marks, you can fire at the Hondor Marks, you will fire at the South Run Archers. And already getting uh Good returns. About here, then. So you guys slowly move forward. Should help out quite a bit. Uh, the Harango Mercs are probably the more important target right now. Get you guys up and around. You guys can fire into there, you can fire into there. Everybody can just fire into that area. We'll curl we around with all like of this, our we will smash the enemy. Our men. And Nero and Eru. We wait for battle. Really get stuck in there, guys. And that's really where we need to end. Had red and spears. The Rondor Mercs are just a pretty solid unit. I am happy to hear that the uh, mercenary system is fixed for the next version. It will uh, definitely have benefits. Oh, perfect. In fighting. Enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Yeah, with having our Azra's Air Raiders right here, right here it's, it's, just, it's just a shooting gallery. Yeah, 
Yeah, they've lost 70%. I've only lost 10. And if answers are your raiders are the only thing that will lose from arrow fire, or from friendly fire, I should say, I will not be too terribly bummed out about that. 79 to 11, 80. Oh, yeah, this is just unfair at this point. Let's get the Hondo Mercs and the Azra Zayu Raiders into the city. If I'm losing Raiders and Mercenaries, that's far better than losing any of my Rosadon units or my, my Archers. And as they slowly walk back towards the front, they're just going to get shot by Baruthiel's watch and and the like. They are a beautiful unit, named after one of the uh, queens of Gondor. I can't remember who she was married to, but she was so just dreadful, and everybody pretty much hated her because she didn't trust anybody. She had a bunch of cats that were her spies, and... Um, I think it was, it's either she had a bunch of white cats, and then one black, or vice versa, and the off-colored cat, so whether it was the single white or single black, that cat spied on the other cats, because she didn't even trust her own spy the enemy cats. Have the walls. <laughs> um, she's just a very interesting character, and then she ends up getting like shipped we will smash the into Farhrad for some reason. Uh, or not for some reason, because everybody hated her, she was dreadful. Um, but we don't know where she precisely went, which is always uh, something I thought was interesting. Be awed by the victory. All right, we have won 214, today. they lost a lot. As was I, your archers. <laughs> so, uh, our worst archer got the most kills, but the most captures actually goes to the answer is that your raiders, the worst unit that we have. And then the Horondor Mercs actually share the silver sword for prisoners caught and casualties inflicted, which is uh, good. Good for them. Most of our losses were from uh, lower tiered units, which is always good. That is obviously Olmo. And uh, it is a pretty interesting depiction of Olmo. Uh, he is always depicted very Poseidon-like. Um, it does seem like Tolkien took quite a bit of his influence from uh, Greek ah, mythology, whether it be with uh, Olmo as, uh, Lord, courage, as he uh, pertains to Poseidon or uh, Aule and Hephaestus. Minlubin! Oh, Minlubin, you're like really not somebody that I want, though. No. Raiders Guild and Emlyn Ithel, fine. Emlyn Ithel is going to make us actually quite a bit of money. It is a town, which is good. We can get mines out of it, which I probably will try to do quickly. But we are going to grab the Mason's Hall first. And then we should have enough, and that should cut down on some of the time for the mines. Uh, Admiral Wattis, go away. You're garbage compared to we are victorious. Yes, sir. Full sail. Let's see if you can find him. Set sail. Probably not. Just go back. Yes, sir. Home. Full sail. Sacklethor is a very interesting admiral. Um, and unfortunately, you can't look at them there. You have to go to the list scroll. But Sacklethor, this general, ready. or this gentleman, has so many uh, bonuses for it uh, for being an admiral that he has just an amazing movement but once you put troops into him he loses that movement because otherwise you could basically take him from here uh, and in probably two turns you would be in Gobel Merlant instead of uh, four but I think it is probably That's right ready. to do that otherwise you could literally just sail straight across, and you, I mean, you could be, I know when uh, Galu played, he started here in Tharbad, but you would be there in like eight turns rather than like almost 20 turns. 
Let's take a peek around. Anybody able to recruit anything? No, you can retrain though, which is at least something. Approaching quiet. All right, Utba is coming up. I wouldn't mind taking him out uh, since he is a family member. I probably could manage to do that between my South Run pikemen. The Lancers and some of these Azur Zaire units. And maybe Lord Gimelzor, but we'll see. If we can if we can hit him before the end of the episode, we will do so. Yes, my lord. Gimelthon, you need to get out and build me this a watchtower tower there. Over the lands. And a watchtower yes. up here. This tower will keep vigil over the and lands. Then you can go. With honor, there. Orders, my lord. With honor. Just need to make yes. sure I don't overstep. But with there honor, we go. this tower will keep. Not that Dol Emroth is going to come south, but it just lets me have sight range, and I know that Harondor is held by them still. Then, and I, like many people, like my uh, towers. Ostafil got in our way for the diplomat. Hopefully he can still make it there in time. That 750 will be very helpful. That's about what it costs for a meeting hall. Um, and Emron Eithel will need that. Hopefully we get another offer for... Uh, ooh, Gobel Mirlon. That is really where we do need this. So looking, we got 962. And it did not change, which... I thought it would have. Unless 962 is what it would have changed to. I can't can't be certain that yes, it wasn't. Lord. With so honor, you over here. Go no further, my lord. Build another tower, tower there. Over the and probably Making camp all here. the way over. That should be fine. Emonifil is quite secure for the time being. My lord. Without question. Hmm. Yes. Alright, let's give you a three each. Order. Trade rates, map information, make a single payment of, let's say, 600. Yes. Alright, so not only did we get the 750, we got a further Without 700, question. or a further yes. 600 on top of that. So now we are in a, a very good place. Retrain. That will be a melee weapon bonus from the Raiders Guild. Oh, the Raiders Guild is just a melee weapon bonus. Is the second tier Warriors Guild, Raiders Guild, Brotherhood of True Sons? No. I'm thinking of the Merchants Guild, which would be nice to get. My lord. Oh, this captain, uh, Utba, decided to go back down to Ardemir. Ardemir is quite heavily fortified, which is bit annoying. My we'll probably leave Indrazor approaching quietly. here approaching so we can keep an quietly. eye on Artemir. We already can see Tal Al Jeff from our towers here. Um, Your orders, my lord. And we probably will go just one more turn. Next turn we can get South Run Pikemen and Lancers is 11 more turns. And then once we upgrade um, or once we pass the barracks event and then get the barracks, um, it is the barracks of True Sun. We'll get Hashari blades and Trollman warriors. The Hashari blades are a very good, um, kind of like strike infantry. They have a powerful charge. They don't have um, armor piercing, but they are very good. That 15 attack is just fantastic. And then the Trollman warriors. Uh, they frighten nearby enemies, and um, they're just very good at not only they, they can hold the line, um, but they also can uh, fight quite effectively. So yes, let's end the turn once more. We'll end with 21, and we'll take a, a quick peek around the world. Um, as you know, I, I do like uh, taking a look around the map. Uh, it's one of the things that I wish uh, sometimes uh, Gala would do a bit more. 
because um, I do like to know what's going on elsewhere, and I know other people often do as well. Uh, sometimes he goes You're quite old, my lord. Uh, a stretch yes. of time without With honor, showing us this how the world will looks. Vigil over the lands. Mm. Yes. We can go no further, my lord. It's probably this all tower will keep vigil over the land. So, Eastern Hondor is here. held. Emun, uh, Emun Harnan is not, has not been taken yet, which is good. Your um, corpse will be thrown to the dogs. Yeah, Utba is now in here. I would like to pick off some of these generals. Tal Al Jaff is not dogs. crazy powerful. Your right now, fail. we are probably yes. going to gear up March to, to go to later. war. Um, my lord, You'll by your command, joining forces. We are still Lord. losing money, unfortunately. Your orders, as you wish. But Zagerakor will keep moving here. north, and he I will get us more and more tomorrow. trade. But looking elsewhere, uh, Emun Ithil. Ah, just, just lost out on the mines. How is this going to help? Quite a bit, actually. It may be worth it, but the conscription camp, yet again, it's a, it's a flat increase of 300, and then we also will be getting good units out of it. Let's see what this does. So 50... 20. Yeah, so 21 and 50, so 71. Yeah, I think at this point, it's really... I mean, it's pretty obvious that we should go with the conscription camp here. Keldun will not be getting any more money for us. The town guard... Again, no more money is coming in from either of those buildings being constructed, so we really probably do need the conscription camp. The settlement details... Law will, again, drop, and there is no happiness right now. Taking a look around Khaldun. Yeah, well, I mean, there's no happiness bonus for any of these cities. So it's not really going to cripple us. Talk about Fog of War. So quickly looking around. Um, kind of try to, I mean, pretty much know what's over here. Ardemir is heavily fortified. Tal al -Jef does not have a lot. Final Bell. Pretty good. Estella is not being sieged. Uh, Emrun doesn't have very many. There are forces out and about. Out and about. And Kerigmir probably won't get taken. Uh, Sayakan probably. Well, no, it looks like Togrul is going south to take that. Uh, Korandaj, Truk Mahur. So it, it doesn't look like much is going on. Imled Karnan. And right around here, Horthener is probably going to fall to um, Dol Emroth, which is good. Because then, well, they can still walk through their allies' land to get to Mordor. Or they'll just help us and they'll skirt along. And hopefully they'll just focus on uh, the Variags and we'll just focus on Herat. And then loop up behind and we'll start taking on uh, Rune. And they are doing what they always do. Uh, nothing else has really happened throughout. Um, Bur Alj has fallen. So, I guess Dol Guldur is expanding quite well. Um, other than that, it doesn't look like too much else has gone on. Uh, slowly but surely... Uh, Angmar is moving south. They're in more of a Tarth now. Maybe they'll get to Kamath Bryn. Now, if they get to Kamath Bryn, they will actually threaten Imladris. The goblins won't ever threaten Imladris. I don't think I've ever seen Imladris fall. I've seen Imladris stay for 120 turns and do nothing, and then that 121st turn, you have a massive, super powerful army come out and take Zagkala, and then they just mop the goblins up. They just... Once, once the uh, once the high elves get going, there is very little you can do to uh, stop them. The worst thing is that the Hornburg has fallen, Ginyard has fallen, uh, Onadrith is being besieged and probably will fall 
and Wade is being besieged. Rochberg has fallen, and Edoras is going to be sieged by Captain Morgan and Captain Crockthorn. Now this, I will, I would propose, is a pretty serious problem, and I do see this all the time, that Rohan needs, <laughs> desperately needs some help. They need, um, and maybe with the, the charges being uh, reallocated and, and reordered into a more orderly fashion, maybe that will help them enough, and they will be able to hold back Isengard. Because I don't think Isengard, I mean, they're powerful, but I don't think the design is supposed to be that the west fold falls and then <laughs> then the east fold falls and they're left with Aldberg and Edoras. I don't think everything's supposed to fall so darn fast. So I think maybe even an extra bot like an extra unique bodyguard would be something worth seeing. Um, I don't know. I do not know. I mean, I know they get um, the Helmingus and the Guardians of Meadowcell, the door, the door wardens, but they may need maybe a cavalry archer. I I don't know. I don't know what the the right thing for them would be because it is uh, this is this is depressing to see. But I think we're gonna call it there. We've looked everywhere. Uh, that is at least having something go on. Um, but I think this is a good start for us, having Khaldun, Gobel Mirland, and Emmon Eiffel. We're not making any money, um, but we're not bankrupt yet. So I thank you all for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed that. And if you did, keep on coming back. Keep watching this, um, this Art and I Am campaign, and watch us uh, finish up the Rune campaign, and then... We'll go from there. Um, I said at the end of the Rune campaign that I would like to go over into um, uh, the lands up here, which their name for some reason is escaping me. This is... What is this area called again? This is... I mean, this is old Arnor and stuff, but it's... Um, that's going to bug me. What is it's not N and wife, but it's something with an E. It's what is its name? Oh, it is because you've got Robanian over here, and then you've got what is this area called? Mm, I don't have any more time to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to to mull this over in my head and my phone is not near me to look it up. But um, I'm sure one of you will pop it down in the comments and let me know. And I will smack myself across the face or over the head or something. Matt, forgetting such a, such a stupid thing. But uh, whether we could play as the uh, as Bree or the Northern Dunedain or Angmar or maybe even the... Uh, the snow arcs, which I've ever, I've actually never played as, but coming over here, uh, west of the Misty Mountains, um, would be would be nice. But until we speak, friend, uh, speak again, friends, uh, I thank you all for watching, and as always, I have been Father of the Ever Chosen. <laughs>